I think that's best demonstrated by the, um, a lot of the artificial intelligence coming in. So uh, I recently uh, interacted with this AI biometric mirror, for example, where you t it looks at you, scans your image, and then uh, assigns your attributes based on the data that has been collected. And it had me as a 17-year-old Caucasian uh, female um, of attributes that don't belong to me. And I spoke to the person who developed it afterwards and they said, well, actually we didn't, if we look at the data that we collected from, I guess we didn't have a lot of people of African, black African origin. I guess we didn't have a lot of people across different diverse age groups. And so garbage in, garbage out. So if we don't have diversity in thinking about, and that is just one example, but right from the data that we collect through to the kinds of people collecting those data, the, there's a fallacy that because science is objective, it's completely devoid of, of our input. And the reality is we ref, the, we reflect, we're reflected in the science that we do. And so if it's the same types of people doing science, you miss out on a whole different other kind of perspective in the kind of science that we could, um, we could do.